tell us they like working for TMI because of the values that we, um, that we both teach and that we practice. So our mission is shifting diversity from a liability to an asset. So we work with lots of different folks um, out in the community, people who care about the community, who care about living out values that are strong. Um, we actually quantify the values in our business and we basically practice what we preach. So most of our employees here at TMI Consulting are pretty engaged in the work partially because we're a diversity and inclusion business and there aren't that many people who sign up for that kind of work if they don't actually believe in it. Uh, it's a kind of a specialized area and it's really values driven so we find that most of the people that come here to work really want to be doing this kind of thing and that tends to lead to a pretty high level of, of engagement. The first thing we do when we introduce a new t team member is figure out where they are. Um, and we really like to meet people where they are. So our experience as it appears on the resume might be very different with than you know, sort of what we're comfortable doing in the workplace. So we give people an opportunity to show us what they've got and we recognize that different people learn in different ways. So you've got kinetic learners, you've got auditory learners. Some of our team members want to read copious amounts of literature before they do anything. We can accommodate that. Others want to be thrown into the mix and have the opportunity to really try their hand at the work and we'll create safe opportunities for that. Um, but the ultimate goal is to just help people become really well equipped and comfortable in their new roles. We also work really hard at making sure that people are able to work in areas that they care about, that they're passionate about. Uh, that they're able to spend time on things that are important to them and we work hard to make it a fun place to work too. So we had our last staff retreat at uh, VMFA and we sent everybody out to uh, find a piece of art that represented who they were. We run the color run together where we all got splattered with paint while we ran a 5K and most importantly we have a hammock swing in the office that any employee can use at any time. Dave Romero and I founded Unboxed in 2009. Our whole goal was to educate and empower people. And we do that through engaging employee training and mobile software apps that help people do their job. When we're looking for a new team member, we're looking for a culture fit. It's less about everything on the resume and everything they've done, uh, but more to do with who they're going to be as a person and how they'll work with the team members we have. We're obviously looking for people who are excellent at their craft, whether it's a writer, a developer, project management. But we really do look for somebody who fits our culture and ensures that this is the best place to work. My, my interview process, I think what struck me was the candidness and honesty that I got. I interviewed both with Brian and Dave and um, I was shocked by how direct they were and how honest they were. They said it would be exciting and scary working for Unboxed and it has been both of those things just about every day and I love it. It felt more like a conversation and then once I started it felt like I wasn't just a new employee, it was like starting a partnership. People don't work on stuff in a vacuum here. Um, anytime you raise a hand and need support, you get it. Um, and people are always there to kind of brainstorm new creative ideas and ways of doing things, always improving, always growing and developing. I think what makes Unbox a great place to work is our people. Uh, everyone here is really passionate about what they do, uh, and we've got a space here where we can all collaborate and work together. Uh, everyone comes to the table with different strengths, uh, and the way we all work together uh, just makes us a fun place. Uh, it makes it so that everything we do um, is awesome work. I'm really proud of what we achieve. Unbox has helped me grow professionally. They've supported me in taking on more responsibility at my own pace. They've empowered me to make decisions and to be confident when I'm interacting with my clients. I don't think I've ever met a company that actually practices a work-life balance the way Unbox does. You hear a lot of companies preach about having uh, a balanced work-life. Unbox actually practices that every day, uh, so we're encouraged to you know, actually go out and walk along the lake out back, um, actually get out of work at a reasonable hour. Um, if we need to take a day working from home, we can do that as well. of the businesses there's got to be a better way to do this and it, it didn't just come from the business model itself which by itself is very innovative but also we realized early on that this is about people uh, we need to be able to hire train and retain the best people in order to make a big difference for our customer experience because that's ultimately what makes the business go so we invest a lot in interviewing uh, when we interview somebody 
We want to make sure that that person can do the job that we have to do, that they will do the job that they have to do, and that they'll fit within our culture. Uh, because ultimately we think the culture is the engine of what makes people happy to be here. Really driving the difference in, the, in our business model are those little things that we teach people as far as the selling approach, the theory of our business, uh, why this business model works, and why it should be an attractive option for customers. And, and we, we do all that because we think that that's actually what's going to drive that experience ultimately. You know, we also like to have fun here. You know, we actually have a full-time minister of happiness who's, who's responsible for planning great events. And some of those events might include things like the Hardywood 4 Mile, which we just ran a few weeks ago, or the Connects Corporate 4 Mile, which we'll be in in a couple weeks. And because we're such a big competitive group, one of the things we actually do is also we actually have our own warrior games right here. Back low. Who's going to break first? No cheating on form. <laughs> It's okay to quit back when you're tired. <laughs> I see some quivering arms. <laughs> Don't worry if you lose, it's only your job. <laughs> How long are you holding? <laughs> I said Alright, we'll drop at the same time. Three, two, one, we'll take it Three, two, one. Uh. Oh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs>